Hello guys, welcome to Zigreels and today we are here at the unveil of Polarity's six new electric bikes. Well, Polarity is a new Indian electric bike maker and they are sort of pitching these bikes as a hybrid, a crossover of sorts between an electric bicycle and an electric motorcycle or a scooter. Well, as you can see here, this is its top of the line S3K model, which is the sport model. Uh, this bike gets a 3 kilowatt B brushless DC hub motor, and with that, you get a pedal assist. Uh, the entire bike is made in India and yeah it gets a steel frame with a steel underbone now the battery is placed inside over here uh, currently there is no removal battery options you will get a removal battery option sometime later and the charging slot is right here so uh, standard charging via a 5 ampere charger takes roughly 4 hours and uh, Polarity will also offer a fast charging option which is a 10 ampere charger unit as an accessory which will charge this bike in 2 hours. Now the range of this bike is said to be roughly 80 kmph in real world conditions but with pedal assist you can go even further top speed of this e-bike is 100 kmph and let me just give you a small demonstration of what it would feel like so here's the bike and this is at the lowest pedal assist mode however you can go up there are five levels you can go up to the max and then you can go really ballistic yeah Uh, in terms of components, you get USD fork at the front, which is fully adjustable. Here, this one is for preload, and this one is for rebound, and even a fully adjustable monoshock. At the, you get disc brakes at both ends, and these are not mechanical ones; these are hydraulic ones, just like you find on a uh, electric scooter or an electric motorcycle now this s3k is priced at rupees 1.1 lakh ex showroom delhi uh, but if you're not looking for a sporty ride if you do not want something which is fast then they also have something with the for the executive for the commuter and this is the e3k E standing for executive now uh, this thing also gets a brushless DC hub motor uh, the capacity is slightly smaller this is 2.5 kilowatt uh, again uh, this gets a steel steel frame with a battery inside um, range is again roughly 80 kmph it is sorry range is roughly 80 km uh, top speed however of this e-bike is lesser it is restricted to 80 km and let me just start this bike to just show yep you get a TFT dash again five levels of electric assist yep that is that plus uh, all bikes will be getting a USB charger as standard and a LED headlight yeah so that's the headlight DRL for the this thing and you also get LED indicators yeah uh, 
so both these two the s3k and the e3k as well as its mid spec variants that is the e2k e1k and the s1k and s2k well they will require licenses to be written and they will require registration uh, the good news is that the deliveries for this for all six models have begun on polarity's official website uh, there is a token amount of 1001 rupees that needs to be paid and deliveries will begin in the first quarter of 2020 uh, as an added incentive the maharashtra government has waived off the central gst for the first 70,000 units of the Polarity e-bikes. Uh, that means uh, 2.5 CGST is waived off for these. Now these are still very much the prototype bikes. We will be getting to ride them uh, sometime later this year. And uh, once the final product reveals, we will get you all the details on this bike. So if you have any questions regarding polarity, electric vehicles, BS6, BS4 vehicles, or anything related automotive, do drop, a, do drop your questions in the comment section below. We have a very interesting video coming up regarding the BS4 and BS6 emission norms. So do stay tuned for Zig Wheels for more motoring action.